Hey everybody, welcome back. I was lucky enough to not have any sick kids and a little bit of time and I was able to do a peacock feather for you. So let's do a peacock feather today. I'm starting with a stone that's about three and a half inches, um, maybe a little bit less. And I'm just gonna paint an oval on the top surface of my stone in black acrylic paint because I like to start off the surface with a, a black to start with because this one is also going to be dotted just like the rose stone was. So we will be dotting if you're uncomfortable with dots or if you feel dots are an overkill. Um, I'm letting you know right now that this will be a dotted stone tutorial. So if you are uncomfortable, please keep trying. Um, it can be a lot of fun once you get comfortable and, and get used to it. And I wasn't comfortable at first with dots at all. I was actually kind of scared of them, uh, intimidated by it. But uh, now I'm, I'm hooked. So keep trying and you might be the same as me. You might end up loving it. So you're going to need a pencil once your black paint is dry. I'm using hologram, um, which is I will leave in the description. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, you're going to need a fine lining brush or a very fine brush. Um, I'll leave a description on how I make my tutorials for our, uh, my fine lining brushes. We're starting off with a little bum and then we're going to put a cap on the bum. I don't know how else to explain it. I have a little bum in my quiet little owl tutorial as well. And uh, put whatever shape you want for your feather. But this is how I do it. And don't put your little feather hairs. I don't even know what they're called. I apologize. I'm going to call them feather hairs and you can judge me on that if you like <laughs> um, but make sure you leave space between your feather hairs so that you can put dots in between there so I'm just gonna draw it on with pencil with freehand I don't have a template uh, you can pause it and just copy how I'm doing it so that you can get comfortable and the more you do it the more comfortable you'll get with it if you make a mistake it's really easy to either erase the, the pencil or you can also just paint right back over it again in black paint let it dry and start over again if you're impatient use a hair dryer to help dry um, any paint that you want to dry quickly because that's what I do and it's I put a little curl in here and there just to kind of make it look flowy and, and romantic again and then once you're happy with it we're gonna get out our gold paint and we're gonna completely go over all of our pencil lines with the gold paint. And I'm gonna do um, pretty thick uh, gold paint so that it stands out. Or you can do two coats, it's up to you. Um, but I'm just gonna start off with a thick coat and then fix any mistakes that I have with black paint. I'm also going to be resining this rock uh, to seal it. And so you'll see this rock a few times, or, or this version of my, my rock, my peacock stones. Um, you'll see a couple throughout this video that are already glossy and shiny. And uh, I'll show you that, um, I'll show you what this one looks like as well. But I'm also going to leave the resin tutorial in the description so that you can do it yourself and make yours just as shiny and glossy and to die for. So as you can see, um, I'm just covering all of my pencil. I'm not doing anything special with it, just covering up the pencil so that I can't see it. And if I make any mistakes or if I leave a blob here and a blob there that I don't like or it, it changed the whole shape of one of my feather hairs, uh, go in with black paint and fix it. It's really, really easy. I'll be doing that in a second as well because I'm not perfect and I make lots of mistakes when I'm painting so I can fix it all. And like I said, leave enough space between each one of them so that we're going to be able to get some dots in there. And you can use uh, toothpicks for your dots or you can use dotting tools which uh, can be found on Amazon or uh, nail art supply just look up nail art supplies and you'll find dotting tools in there and and uh, that's where you can get them 
Now I'm going to, like I said, fix all my mistakes with black because I see a few spots there that just don't look right. So I'm just going to go over it. That's my uh, rock OCD, I guess. I, I have to make sure that <laughs> it's nice and perfect all the time. Now, if you don't like dots, here you go. You're done. <laughs> and it looks beautiful. Um, it's kind of difficult to color this in any other way. You could always do a colorful background and then paint this on the colorful background and don't have any dots at all. Um, but if you're afraid of dots, this is probably where you're not going to continue <laughs> but I hope you do because it's fun and you'll love it when it's done I promise and you don't have to be perfect with dots you can put them wherever you want whatever sizes you want just stay within the lines so you don't cover up the gold that's the only thing and you can always go back over the gold again once you're done dotting just in case you did cover up any of the gold and then it looks beautiful again so you do what you want to do and what you're comfortable with. I'm just sharing with you what I'm what I like to do. Here's our hologram. Holla. Now I'm going to put it in the feather here, just in this little spot. And you'd be surprised at just adding a little bit of sparkle to one portion of your stone. It really changes it up so I just like to add a little bit of sparkle into my feathers because honestly who doesn't like glitter and sparkle <laughs> I do it's on every single one of my rocks so it looks wet and white when it dries it's clear see ooh, and teal sparkles it looks gorgeous here's some that I've resined already and the sparkles are just to die for um, it's shiny already with the resin, but then you add the sparkle behind that resin and it's just glimmering. Now I'm using French blue, violet pansy, teal, and indigo. You can use whatever colors you want, but you'll see I like to start off with a lighter color inside the feather and work my way out. Ignore this old paint that I opened up to check out on the video. <laughs> uh, that one's garbage, we're not using that today. Today I'm going to use a metallic uh, purple. It's actually called Amethyst, and it's from Craft Smart, and it's beautiful. And I love purple, so I'm just going to put purple in the center of this little heart that you see at the top of the peacock feather, or bottom, whichever way you want to place your peacock feather. Now I'm just dotting in there with the toothpick. And it doesn't have to be perfect, um, I just stay within the line. So just fill it in with whatever size dots you want. Um, try to not have them touch each other because then they run together and it doesn't look like a dot anymore. So keep there enough space between your dots so that they look like dots. Now I'm going to use this tiny little dotting tool um, for the rest of my rock. So I'm going to throw out my toothpick. And I'm just going in with my lightest color right on the inside. I'm just doing a couple of layers of dots um, right on the inside. I'm going to go all the way up the vein of that feather. If it's called a vein. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am just throwing out the non-technical terms tonight. So I'm just going to keep going. I apologize for that. I'm just going to keep going up until it goes right around the top of the feather and take your time dotting so that you're comfortable. Um, it looks like I'm going really fast. I'm really not. Uh, I take my time because depending on the consistency of your paint, dots can be really frustrating. If it's too thick, they it, like, it doesn't dot properly. If it's too thin, it runs over to the next dot. So it's, it's all about consistency and patience. So it's very therapeutic once you uh, get comfortable with it. So I'm just going right around, just a nice thin layer around the top there because there's really not a lot of room 
uh, to change the colors up. So uh, I just want there to be a layer of that French blue all the way around the top there. Once I have that layer, I'm gonna go in with the next color. That's how it looks all with the French blue, the first layer, or the lightest color, whichever you choose. Now I'm going in with, um, it's hard to see, but it's the, it's the purple color right now. It's Violet Pansy. And I'm just gonna go in um, and do a thick dotted line along around the whole feather again. So just keep working your way to the outside of the rock. Um, you can do bigger dots as you get closer to the outside of the rock and then all of a sudden it's just done a lot quicker because your dots are bigger. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm doing just a very, very different sizes of, of dots as you can see. None of them are perfect. Um, all different sizes. It's not in a perfect line. I kind of dot on the outside and mix them together a little bit so they're blended together. So then you can see it, it all just kind of flows together once it's done. And the resin really brings out your colors. And like, honestly, you'll never, you'll never want to go back if, if you change to resin. So now I'm going in with the teal color. So I'm going to bore you with uh, the teal dots. And then after that, we're just going to finish it off all the way around the outside with indigo blue. And as you can see, like I do have a lot of different sizes of dots there. Like some of them blob, some of them like I, I end up with a big blob and I just leave it there. There's nothing wrong with those bigger blobs. I'm not against any bigger blobs at all. Now we're going with the indigo blue and I'm just filling in the rest of the black space with the indigo blue. And like I said, make your dots bigger when you get closer to the outside and it just goes a lot quicker. The only reason why I keep them so small around the feather is so that I don't make a mess between those feather hairs. <laughs> so now we're going to finish the blue dots. The lighting is not so great for this video, so it was hard for me to show you the dark blue dots, um, but they do stand out quite a lot after you've resined them. If you don't see them very well right now, you'll see them really well once they've been resined. And once again, it just depends on what colors you use, but the resin always makes that stand right out. Now I'm almost finished with the indigo blue. And notice how there's just a, you can definitely see all four of the different colors. You want to be able to see a change from one color to the next. Uh, thank you guys all for your support once again. I love you all. You guys are amazing. and. The comments and the support and the love, it just, it keeps me going and, and thank you so much for it all. Um, I'm going to get out my gold paint again and I'm going to use the end of one of my paint brushes and I'm going to put a border on, on the Peacock Feather Rock. It just kind of uh, frames it up and makes it look really fancy. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, uh, but I just feel like it really cleans up that black line and uh, makes it look like it's been framed in. Um, so I'm going to be doing a contest really soon. So check out my Facebook page at Rachel's Rocks. Um, it's time for me to do a giveaway. So uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to come up with something really cool for you guys. And uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what it is. It's a surprise. I'm not telling you yet. But uh, just keep an eye on Rachel's Rocks on Facebook. Um, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. Of course, I'm going to keep them coming. And if you have any suggestions, please message me. I've resined it now. Look at that. You can see all the colors. You can see the gold. It just brightens right up. And you will not be sorry 
So I will leave everything you need in the description. I love you and thank you for your support, everyone.